All right, welcome back to another episode of Plant Based Ads. I'm Joey. I'm Tim. And uh, today, I think we're gonna do we're gonna do a vlog today, right? Yeah, that's what you brought up this morning. You want to do a day of meals? Yeah, we don't have anything planned, yeah. so I think we'll not only do the meals. I have to run to the store and do some stuff. We got to go grocery shopping. Uh, Take care of the patio. Yeah. So it's been a kind of a, a a really cloudy, overcast kind of gloomy day in the desert. But now the sun's coming out, so maybe that's a, a good thing. I don't and know. I woke up and I thought I was in Seattle again. Oh my but. gosh. So, uh, and uh, just a quick shout out to our Patreon and uh, our uh, PayPal members for uh, supporting the show financially. Uh, they help us get the message out to the public. Uh, if you thought about helping, there's a uh, link below this video on how you can do that. I think what we're gonna, the only thing we have planned is for breakfast. Like we don't have, and we don't even, we just kind of, and what I mean planned, we, we just threw it together. We don't have a recipe. So I'm gonna show you how we're gonna get 400 calories out of breakfast each, and we're gonna do like a 1200 calorie day. Don't yeah, you think? exactly. So we're still in that same theme. Um, we know what we had in the house uh, as far as some hash browns, oil free. Uh, we just started plugging chronometer, some veggies that we had, which is bell pepper, onion, carrot, some zucchini. So let's let's so get this together. Right? One of the things we're going to use for breakfast is uh, these the sprouts hash browns. Now sprouts hasn't had these hash browns in a year. This. This has been in, I don't know how long it's been in our freezer, but it expired in uh, April. So I'm thawing, I'm thawing it out, it's fine. We're gonna use that. It's we may not fine. be able to still get these, but we're gonna use the hash browns as the starch, and then we're gonna load this dish up with non-starchy vegetables. I love right? it. And the hash brown ingredients, uh, what, what are the ingredients right there? Uh, organic potatoes. Organic potatoes, organic. that's all that's in here. So, yeah. all right, you ready to get started? Yes, we've got some sauteing to do. Let's start cooking. All right, so uh, I think uh, we're going to start by getting some of the vegetables softened, don't you think? Yep. Uh, so I've got some uh, zucchini here. Let's turn this thing on. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's start with carrot. All right, so let's... this is heating up. Let me get a little bit of water here real fast. Tim, do I want to ask about these uh, cups? Oh, yeah. There's copper cups in the cabinet. I don't know. I, ha I feel that feel has something to do with copper being antibacterial and all that, right? Exactly. Yeah. Why are ships filled with copper? Why are there copper handles? The ships are filled yes. with copper? Exactly. I got nothing, sorry. No. Right. no, there's a water bottle I have, and we have a pitcher for this. Let's throw in the carrots yeah. first, These are most right? hard, so... How many, how, how much, what, what do we have in here as far as carrots? What's the measure? Uh, we wrote it out. So, in chronometer, we put out... 300 grams. We're gonna give you the full measurements, and I'm also gonna show you how I decide on how much to put to put in all this stuff, so you can kind of get a feel for this. I start with the starch, which is the potato, and then I start adding adding like grams to the to the non-starchy veggies based on what we have in the fridge, right? So it's kind of like an HCH video. I'm only using what we have in what we have, except uh, we do have food in the fridge, and uh, we're not in Hawaii, so there's that. <laughs> All right, so while this is sauteing, I thought we'd talk, you have the option of baking this. Yeah, we thought about baking it. But this just seemed like a better option. Uh, yeah. So Plus we get to use our beautiful 12 inch uh, uh -huh. Dahlstrong skillet, right? Uh, that Dahlstrong said does. This is a beautiful pan. It's gigantic, it has really high sides. Uh, there's a lot of cooking space in it. It gives you a lot of uh, uh, surface area to cook with. Tim's uh, phone keeps going off with Paige from the hospital, so he's back and forth with that. All right, so the carrots are starting to soften. They're still gonna cook for a little while. How much onion do we have here? Um, onion. We've got 350 grams. All right, so about, what's that? Two, two small onions or two and a half small onions, right? Yep. It's just easier to do this in grams. Even though I'm in the US and we don't use grams, really grams are exact measurements. All right, Tim is gonna throw some salt in it just to get the vegetables to sweat. It's about an eighth of a teaspoon. All right, so uh, we're gonna start throwing the rest of the stuff in so it starts softening up. I'm putting in uh, about, how many pep grams of peppers? I think we we got three peppers here, yellow, yeah. orange, and red. So, and that came out to be about 250 grams, 200 grams. Uh, it's about 250 grams of peppers. And we'll have the, the information on the screen there. Uh, and then, should we put the squash in now? Do yeah, you think? sounds good. And then we've got 600 grams of squash. Squash is like the lowest uh, calorie, uh, one of the lowest calorie fruit uh, vegetables you can get. It's 0.17 calories per gram. So you need to have a lot of grams to get 100 calories, right? You need to have 
I'm not. I'm not a math teacher. I used yeah. to be, but it's a lot. So it's the look. Here you go, sweet. It's the lowest. It's killing me. It's going like you're, you're talking and yeah. trying to spare it. doesn't work. It's the lowest calorie of everything that we have in here. Uh, because it's made of mostly water. And uh, the more water you have, the less calories are because water doesn't have any calories. And we got a little bit of garlic too. I just got like two cloves, okay. right? That uh, kind of. I like my garlic grated because I don't like to, to bite into chunks of garlic. So, so we're just going to kind of get that mixed in and then we'll throw some spices in. Uh, we also have, I mean, it looks, even without the potatoes, it looks really good, right? It does. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and we still got a bag of potatoes to put in. So you can cook this in the beginning of the week as your non-starchy mix and just throw in the fridge and add it with your starch. Like, prepare your non-starches for the week. And it's a beautiful uh, vegetable medley. All right, so we're going to run over to the spice rack. Uh, we had kind of an issue a few weeks ago. Uh, there were too many spices coming into the house. So I felt like we had three options. One, we could get my husband to stop buying spices, which we realized wasn't going to happen. Two, we could find another husband, which I thought about. And number three was to build a big spice rack for all of our spices. And that was the one we settled on, right? So let's go over, let's grab the spices. I'm going to show you what we did. All right, so now, now tell everyone about what we've got going on here. All right. So all these spices were on a door rack from the container store. Worked good for a while, but then we realized it was grinding on the hinges because the weight is just so much. Yeah. So we have this little setup here. Um, we made a frame, uh, pretty easy. And then we needed something for paper towels as well. So we, we put a little top on it. Yeah, to me, that's the favorite part. I mean, it was yeah. already on the wall. So we just added the shelf right on top of there and on top of the door frame and made sure it was level. And now we have a place to stock our paper towels, right? Yeah, I mean, this is like a utility room. It's, you know... It, it was it our works. old laundry room, right? But yeah. now it's our butler's pantry. Yep. We, well, I should say the husband's pantry because I do no, all the work. No. We don't have a butler, right? All right, um, it was kind of fun to organize this. Have one shelf just maybe for pepper items. So, and that's kind of what we did. We have, like, all the peppers kind of all together, right? And then we kind of have all of, like, the Italian seasonings all together. And spices. And then right uh, up here... We've got uh, all of the Indian stuff all together, right? All the way down here, right? And we kind of just organize it best we can. And the, we even made one of these shelves. If you look at this, right? They're small shelves until you get to this bottom one. And this one sticks out. And we made sure that it was big enough to hold these Costco, uh, Costco spices, right? So that right there is a big enough spot for all of those, right? Yes. All right. That's our spice rack. Let's get back to cooking. Yes. Yeah. All right. Now, since we don't like really have a recipe, right? We're just gonna throw the spices in. I, I'll give you amounts, but you know, really, we're just kind of winging it, right? Uh, so let's throw in uh, about a tablespoon of paprika. So let's get that in there. I think we're kind of basing this off the potato bake that we do. That is kind of what we're doing. Yeah. So I'm just throwing a tablespoon of paprika. I love paprika. You can't have too much of that. Yeah. Uh, we'll put a little bit of chili powder in. I don't want it to taste really chili powdery. Uh, so I'm going to do like uh, half a teaspoon. Yeah. Yeah, half a teaspoon. All right. Uh, next, we need a little bit of salt, maybe a quarter teaspoon of salt. And mix it up as we go. We already added some earlier, yeah, so, so that's probably to, good. Yeah, I don't want to oversalt it. Let, let's put in some pepper, too. Oh, this is looking really good. I like these are like pepper. These are like tricolor peppercorns from yeah. Trader Joe's. Kind of like the idea of it. A lot of fun. Yeah. It's one of many peppers we have. All right, let me just sprinkle some red pepper flakes here. It's kind of all we need for a little bite. Yeah, I want to have a little snap, but I don't want it to be too hot. All right, so I think that we need to get the potatoes in here because everything here is looking good and I don't want it to be overcooked. So we're putting in this whole bag of hash browns. I thawed them out and they should be ready, and they are, they're ready to go in. All right, I don't want them going in frozen. So I did thaw them out. You wanna grab this? Yeah. Oh, look at that. That looks fantastic. All right, they're separating nicely. All right, oh yeah, this will be beautiful, don't you think? Wow, what an amazing looking dish. Oh, I think our thumbnail picture is just gonna be this right here. All right, let's let that cook for a minute. Creating this recipe, you plug it in the chronometer. Yeah. Okay, and then um, it's going 50-50, right? 
Yeah. And so then how many calories is that? It winds up to be about, about 390 calories, 98 calories each or whatever. Okay. It's almost, the whole thing is almost 800 calories. I'm, I, when I, I'm going to do a voiceover at the end of this for each one of these so they can okay. see it and I'll show them how I got all those. Yeah. But the whole, like we're eat, we're splitting this again. I know. It's a lot of food. So that's why I was wondering if there's three of you, um, you could split this and then there's room for like sprinkling with nooch or if you okay. have a so, chili sauce yeah. or something like that. Uh, Absolutely, you can throw nutrition yeast. I'm not doing that because nutrition yeast. I don't know if you realize this. It's loaded with calories. Yeah, yeah. But if you have room for that, yeah. or you're not doing 1,200 calories, you're right. more like 1,600. Yeah. Then there's room to like. Yeah. Add something like that on. We're not doing that, but let's get the square one. Like, yeah, the metal one. Uh, so yeah. So if you're splitting this in thirds, right? Then by all means, you're gonna have room for extra extra calories. That's a, just a, a, a beautiful assortment of colors. So let's plate this up and see right. what we got. Now remember, uh, <laughs> this is, we're splitting this whole thing. Uh, and once again, there's a huge amount of food. And the reason there's so much food is because we loaded it up with non-starchy vegetables that were low in calories. And it's just blowing my mind, Joey. I mean, every week while we're cooking. So, I mean, <laughs> look how much food that is. That's... Less than 400 calories. That's like 390 something calories, right? There's no way I'm eating my breakfast. There's no way I'm eating my breakfast. All right, you can see Tim's topped these off with some uh, scallions on top of there, uh, which look really good. And on his, he put on some a bunch of Tabasco. I was gonna say some, but a bunch of Tabasco sauce. And then he also sprinkled a little nooch on his. He's got a different calorie count than I do. Uh, but that's where we are with this. So I'm gonna eat this, uh, but because it is mostly non-starches, I'm gonna be hungry again in two hours. Yeah. And I'm gonna come back to this and just finish it off. And that's my meal, right? Yeah. I'll just count it as one meal. Oh man. Oh yeah. This is delicious. Woo! This is good. What we've done, all the flavors here, like, yeah. It's just, and we've got different textures going on. I like it. I like that we didn't overcook the vegetables. They're al dente for sure, right? And that's how I like it. Like the squash, yep. squash is famous for just becoming mushy, right? I, yeah, I don't like it. Me either. And right, just fell off. Uh, right here, it's perfect. Mmm, so good. Mmm. Wow. It just feels good eating this as well. Now I have Tabasco, so there's a lot of flavor going on, but mm. yours is good too though? Mm, yeah. It's delicious. All right, I'm gonna eat what I can of this, throw it in the fridge. I'll see you guys after we uh, get cleaned up and go to the next thing, whatever that is. But I'm gonna end this part of it with the breakdown and the voiceover of what we made here. So stick around for that and then we'll jump to the next thing, all right? Mm -hmm. So what I'm using here is a software called Chronometer. You can go to chronometer.com, set up an account and start plugging in your information. I'd start every meal with the starch because the starch is what the meal is based around. That's where the bulk of the calories come from. I want to have enough starch to keep me full, but not so much where it takes all my calories up. So for today, I'm going to click on food, and I'm going to add those potatoes I use, which was the Sprouts Farmers Market Organic Hash Browns. And let's see. There they are right there, the second one down. And the whole bag is 453 grams, because that's what it says on the bag. So I'm going to make sure this says grams, and I'm going to put in... 453 and you can see right here before I even add it there's my calories for that right there so it's about 378 calories I'm gonna add that to my diary and now it's just keeping a list of everything I'm adding and right over here is keeping a running total of my calories for that meal this meal is gonna feed both of us remember it was a big meal that we split in half so I'm gonna do the whole meal and then it should come out to 800 calories or less for the two of us to share now that I've got uh, almost 400 calories just from this one ingredient. That's half the calories for the meal. So for my portion, that would be 200 calories, right? I need to start building the rest of the meal based on what veggies I had in the house. The first thing I had was zucchini. So this was just zucchini. And if you type out it, it'll start giving you some options where you bought it from, what brand. This was just raw zucchini we got at Costco. If you put in a hundred, this is what I started doing to figure this out. I'm trying to get to 800 with all my veggies. Right now I'm at about 377. If I put in a hundred grams for zucchini, look how many calories that is. 100 grams of zucchini is 17 calories. Okay, 
I've got to get a bunch of calories here from the zucchini. I need about 100 calories worth of zucchini because I'm at 400 calories now and I'm going to put in like four or five veggies at 100 calories each. So I need about 100 calories of zucchini to get me to uh, 800 calories with the whole meal. So 100 grams of zucchini is not going to get me 100 calories. What I did figure out is about 600 grams of zucchini would get me 102 calories. And that's what I want. So you may be like, how did I come up with 600 grams of uh, zucchini? I wanted 100 calories in zucchini. And you can see here, my running total is now 480. It was about 375, now it's about 480, which is perfect. So I'm building up to my 800. I've got my 300 and basically 80 calories here for the, uh, for the potatoes. And now I'm adding calories 100 at a time uh, so I can get like a bunch more veggies, right? So that's what I'm doing next. Now I'm going on carrots. So I'm going to click food again here and I'm going to type in carrots. These were just raw carrots uh, that we had. So I'm going to pick that. And if I, I always start with 100 grams to see how much I need and how much calories 100 grams or something is. All right, so I'm going to change my carrots to grams right here. And if I put in 100 grams of carrots, notice that 100 grams of carrots are 41 calories. I need 100 calories in uh, carrots. So I need to at least double this, which is where I came up with the number for uh, 300. 200 gave me 82, and I wanted more than that. So I put in 300, and that was 123. So that's perfect. That's pretty close to 100, and that's going to work for me. So 300 grams of carrots, uh, which wound up being 150 grams each for both of us. So I'm going to put that in there, and you can see my totals now at 603. So I can put in like two more veggies to get me to 800, which is what I did. So next, I put in some onions. I just put in regular onion, regular raw onion. And you'll see here, onion, white, red, yellow, raw. It doesn't really matter, matter which one it is. You pop it in there, and I make sure it says grams here. I'm going to put 100 for 100 grams, and 100 grams is only 40 calories. And I want about 100 calories uh, in onions. And so if I change this to 200 grams, now I've got 80 calories, and that's still not enough. I want a little bit more than that. So I'm going to change this to 300 grams, and that's going to give me 120 calories. I could have cut it off at 80, but I mean, I don't want to skimp on the onions. So that's my, that's my aromatic. So I'm going to add this in, and now I'm at about 723 calories. I don't want to be that low for both of us because, I mean, that half of that is like 367. It's just not enough. I need to be at 400 calories. So I'm going to add my bell peppers. I just got bell peppers here. And it doesn't matter, oh, I spelled it wrong. And it doesn't matter which ones they are. I just, uh, you can pick red, you can pick yellow, you can pick green. They all come out to be the same. I'm just gonna pick uh, yellow bell pepper raw, but they, they're all the same. And I'm gonna put in 100 grams again, and that's gonna get me 27 calories. So like, I'm gonna need more than that, right? I'm gonna put in 200 cat grams, and that's gonna give me 54 calories. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of peppers, right? So but I do tolerate them. And I'm not gonna put any more than that in because when I add uh, 54 calories to my total here, I'm at 777 calories. Now, it's still not enough, uh, but I don't wanna put any more peppers in because I'm not a huge uh, fan of peppers. So I'm gonna go back to, and this is how I play with this. I'm gonna go back to onions right here. If I just click on the number right there, I can change it. I'm gonna add a little bit more onions because uh, onions, uh, you know, you, just, you can't have enough. So if I put that in there, if I change my onions to 350 right here, now I'm at 797 calories for the whole thing. So that's going to be my breakfast. I've got my hash browns here as the base. Then I've got, I'm going to throw my veggies, the zucchini, the carrots, the onion, the bell peppers. I'm going to cook that all up. I'm going to get two servings out of that. It's one huge meal for two servings. And each serving is going to uh, be half of 797. That's how simple it is. Start with your starch and uh, build it uh, with the vegetables you have. You can do this. It's really simple. Good luck. All right, I don't know if you can hear me over all the air conditioning here. Tim's driving. Uh, but we are on our way to the Apple store, so we're headed there. And uh, that's up at Scottsdale Quarter. There's a huge Whole Foods over there um, and all that stuff. That's uh, Trader Joe's, so uh, I think we'll probably we go, and it's a Costco over there too, right? Yeah, and then I think we need a planter. So maybe a, a planter? Home, a Lowe's, Lowe's is right there too. We do not need a planter. Oh, we do. No. Yeah, there's a cactus in the house with no pot. Yeah. Okay. There's an emergency right there. All right, we'll see where uh, wherever we wind up here.
uh, you can see uh, right over here, if you look here, there's a line of people just waiting to pick up their, uh, or waiting to get an iPhone. I, I don't wait. If I had known that was going to be this many people, I would have just had it delivered. But for the watch, I didn't have to wait because I already bought it. Uh, all these people looking to just come in and buy what they have here. I pre-ordered my watch, uh, so it was just here ready to pick up. But holy smoke, the line goes around the building. Like, for a phone? It's not worth it. All right, on to the next thing. All right, I guess we're uh, going to Lowe's to look at some pots. I don't know. So here we are. Let's see what they got. All right, so I think we said we were coming in to look at pots, and that's not a pot. Yeah. So that's in plant. It's a jacaranda. Yeah. Let me... Okay, let's go. We're looking for pots, Joey. We're looking for pots. All right. I'm still on our way. Focus. Uh, yeah, because you know me, I'll buy anything in here. Yeah. All right. All right, nothing here. Look at all this Christmas stuff already. Too soon. So Costco has a lot of produce. I'm always conflicted coming here because there's so many vegan options and so much of the food, and it's the produce is just amazingly priced. But Costco kills more chickens than any other company every year, million, over a million chickens a year. Um, but the problem comes down to, if we just stop buying chickens, then Costco won't be killing them. Uh, really, it is the consumer. They're selling what the consumer wants. Um, but anyway, we're gonna see what we can find on uh, deals for produce. We'll keep you posted. Here's a good deal right here. $9.99 for 10 pounds, 10 pounds of organic onions. $9.99. That's a great deal. And they're organic. This is where we get our bananas right here. 66 cents a pound for organic bananas. That's a great deal. Uh, so we'll be grabbing some of these right here for sure. They're a little green, but that's okay. We'll get a few uh, uh, yellow ones from Trader Joe's or Sprouts, wherever we go next. But we always have plenty of these bananas ripening on the counter. These avocados aren't, uh, aren't organic, but I mean, it is a huge bag, uh, six avocados, and these are like a really nice size one, right? A whole bag, six of these for five ninety nine. So I'm at less than a dollar each. That's amazing. All right, so organic medjool dates. All right, these are eleven ninety nine uh, for a two pound box. These stay in the fridge and they'll stay there for a long time. And these are absolutely delicious. They're really nice. They're the medjool dates, so they're really big. They are pit, they have the pits in them, but this is a great deal for medjool dates. So we're getting this uh, green bean. It's like two pound bag, right? Yeah. And how much is that? I think it's three ninety nine. And it's organic, right? And we have mushrooms at home. Yeah. And so we, this is where we get our maybe spinach all the time, right? Yeah. That's it's like three fifty, three forty nine. And then that that triple berry mix, that's like seven dollars. That depends, it's seven really, to ten dollars, yeah, but it's really cheap. But, uh, but we use that in our recipe. Yes, all low glycemic. Yeah. yeah, those are pretty good. So those blueberries right there, those frozen blueberries, seven ninety nine for a three pound bag. We don't need those, but that's where we got our blueberries right there, and that is a great deal. That's amazing. Same thing here. Uh, they've got the the for ten seventy nine. They've got a four pound bag of uh, strawberries. Again, we have these, so we don't need them, but that's the best price you're gonna find. Same thing here, frozen pineapple, four pounds, 10 bucks. It's a huge four pound bag, and all of these things are organic. Like, you can't get better than that. They've got these smoothie blend packs. Again, we've got these, so we don't need those. Uh, they're individual packs, uh, and I think there's six individual packs and they're ready to go, just throw them in. Right. So those uh, Brussels sprouts look like a great deal for twelve seventy nine, and you get a uh, bag and they're organic, but uh, they are loaded with olive oil, so you definitely don't want to get those if you're on an oil-free diet. 
Costco is definitely the place to get spices, right? You get this really big thing of turmeric here, right? These are the ones that we have home. And like this one is uh, $4.29. Like, you can't even buy a little bottle for that price. That's a great deal. And they're all like that, right? Some of these are organic. We bought this uh, paprika because it is organic. So that's a great deal too. There's no better place to get spices than Costco. That, that, they are definitely the best deal. Nothing even comes close. So uh, Costco has eight cans of black beans in a pack for uh, $8.39. It's a little over a dollar a can, but they are organic. Uh, so that's a pretty good deal. Sometimes you get beans that sprout for 99 cents a can that are organic, but it's rare anymore. So this is a good deal. All right, I so think it's the lowest amount we got out of Costco. What'd you say? The lowest amount we've ever spent? Yes. We didn't really need a lot of stuff. We just had a few things that we needed, but like we didn't have to do big grocery shopping. But literally every dime here is money well spent. So I never worry about that. But sometimes we've walked out of here with four or $500 for grocery. Not today. Today was, was way less than that. Uh, but again, their prices are the best and we go through all of it. So it's definitely worth the price. All right, on to the next thing. It's like the pumpkins are in season and ready to go. So what do you got there? Oh, so we've got some veggie ham. Lex likes that on a sandwich or on a right. bread. We send that to him for lunch. Yeah, and so that's the, the eaves, right? And it, it's oil free actually, and it's very low in uh, fat. Uh, right there, so this works for, for Lex for sure. This will surprise you as well. We have like three different varieties at home on this. And if you look at the ingredients, it's actually pretty clean. Right. All right, so for plant milk, we use the Calafia Farms, the Calafia Farms, and it's this oat milk right here. The one that Tim's getting. That one only has three ingredients in it. So the ingredients are water, organic uh, oats, and sea salt. That's it. So that one doesn't have any oil in it or any of the uh, collagen or, or any of that stuff. It's this one here. They make a few different oat milks, but this specific one only has three ingredients in it. So that's the one we get. And they're not cheap, but when they get it, we, when they have it, we stock up. All right, Whole Foods does have uh, a bunch of these McDougal soups. We keep these on hand because sometimes this is all I want and I'll eat them. And uh, they're mostly $2.99 each, depending on which one you get. So uh, that's what we'll be getting. Had a bunch of those in the cart. These are really good. Oh, Whole Foods, why, why do you do this to me? Oh, why? Nope. Okay, I literally had to take these out of the cart because Tim put them in there. It's crazy. No. Yeah, we literally just got back from grocery shopping and it's 5.30. So we don't, and we haven't even had lunch yet. So we don't have time to make lunch and dinner tonight. So I think for lunch, uh, and we do this sometimes and we have to do this, I think we're just gonna make a smoothie for lunch. Um, and that'll keep us going for a few hours till it's time to eat. So I'm gonna put this stuff away. There's a lot of groceries from the different stores. Uh, and then we'll show you how we make a, a smoothie for 400 calories. Here's what we're gonna do for a smoothie. I've got a 400 calorie smoothie and I'm going to show you how I make this. This is also the smoothie I used when I was trying to regulate, uh, you know, trying to figure out how many uh, calories my body burned every day. For that one, it was a 500 calorie smoothie and I had two a day uh, for the first week just to see if my thousand calories was, you know, too high or too low. And then I started building up to 1100 to 1200 and all that. Uh, so. Uh, that smoothie had one more banana in it, which gave it a hundred more calories. All right, so our smoothies start out with uh, Earth Chimp organic protein powder. The reason we use this uh, is because there's no oil in this. It's all just like mm. seeds and all that stuff. And I feel like it's the cleanest it is we've the found. Cleanest one. Yeah. And it actually tastes pretty neutral or good. <laughs> yeah, it's really like, good. So we have a discount code right below uh, in the below the video. Is you could buy it and get a 10% discount on it, uh, which would be great. All right, so. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the uh, macros for this, uh, like I did for the breakfast right after this. I'll do a whole macro thing. But for each of us, this is for each of us, all right? So we're doubling the recipe. We need one and a half cups, one and a half scoops of that protein powder each. So three cups all together. 
or three scoops all, not three cups, three scoops all together. And then we just pointed these out at Costco, right? These little smoothie packets, they're 100 calories each, and they're already ported out and ready to go. So we're doubling the recipe, so we're gonna throw two of these in, right? Yeah, so since we're so calorie conscious, it's just nice to have something already pre-measured out, labeled, okay. ready to go. Ready to go, yep. Otherwise we wouldn't spend the extra money, but we're, you know, on a mission okay. here, well, so. Well, those things are pretty economical. I don't know if there's any extra money. Uh, there is, for what you're getting. I don't know. All right, so after that, we need uh, some fresh pineapple. We we cut pineapple up, but we cut pineapple up fresh and we freeze it. So we have some frozen pineapple. Or are we going to cut up a fresh? I was just going to cut this. You're going to cut that pineapple. Up? All right, I always buy it the weekend, you know, before. And... All right, let's get that going here. We got a cutting board. All right, so we have a pineapple core, just like an apple core. This is a pineapple core. You cut the top and the bottom off. You press it right down, and it cores the pineapple. It takes the core out and all the slices right out. Now we have a spiralizer as well. Yeah. But in this case, we're, we need it now. So, so pop that in. I'm going to chop it up a few bits and see what we got here. Uh, we got our cup measurement right here. So, all right. Now we're going to need more than the core. Oh, all for right. sure. Yeah. All right. So we have a cup of pineapple on here. Yes. We just all right. Put all so we're just going to take the rest of the pineapple and throw it in a container or something. So for bananas, I just count every banana as a hundred calories. Some are a little more, some are a little less. A medium banana is about 105 calories, so that's about what this is, a medium banana. Uh, we actually need two of them, one for each of us, So, but they're about 100 calories each. So we're down to the seeds. So we're gonna need uh, hemp seeds, uh, flax, and some psyllium husk, and that should be uh, everything else that we're putting in here, along with water. We're not putting any, uh, I, don't, I don't need milk with my, or plant milk with my smoothie. I'm fine with just water. All right, so for the, the flax seed, we're gonna need a half a tablespoon uh, for each of us. So that's a whole tablespoon. And then for the, uh, the hemp parts, we need uh, a half a tablespoon, which is five grams for each of us also. So that's a whole tablespoon right there. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And then for, we're gonna put in some psyllium husk. Psyllium husk is really good to, if you have like bowel problems and all that. We do not, there's a lot of fiber here, but to smoothies, we do add it. We just add a little bit. Uh, we add two teaspoons of this. Um, it just kind of aids in digestion. And so we're gonna put four teaspoons all together. Yeah, when I look at ingredients for, like they would call it a colon scrubber or different things like that. Um, anyway, this was always the leading ingredient, so I'm like, this is what we need. It's good. Yeah. Keep uh, us healthy. People who have like uh, like Crohn's or colitis or all that take this and it really helps them a lot. Yeah. Uh, okay, so we've got the protein powder, we've got the uh, the smoothie packs, we've got the pineapple, we've got the um, the flax meal, the hemp parts, the banana, and the psyllium husk. So we can just throw some water in this. We're gonna, I don't know, put it up to here, water. We'll sure. just blend it up and split it into two smoothies and that'll be our lunch. All right. This looks so refreshing. I'm gonna grab the straws. Okay. All right, so uh, one of the things we do with these is these are just big mason jars and we have these tops for them right here. We, the, the tops have little holes in them for straws. So you can kind of put the straw through and they won't come out, right? They're meant to stay in. And then you can just take your smoothie on the go, which is really nice. All right, I have some work to do outside. I'm not too concerned about the amount of sugar here we're getting. Um, but again, fruit sugar is different. So it's, it's, cheers. There's no added sugar. Nice. Is that, well, actually there might be sugar in the, the protein mix. I don't know. Mm. Perfect. The vanilla comes through. Yeah. It's nice. So that's a very quick meal. We don't normally eat smoothies in the middle of the day, but, uh, I mean, I don't want to, I mean, if I eat like a big, if I take a two hours to make a meal now, we're, we're going to bed after we eat, we're done. So that's it. All right. We'll get some other stuff done. We'll see you in a little bit. See you. It's the end of summer, fall is here, and it's time to get our patio ready uh, for the usable time of year we can use it. I'm just throwing some water in the bird fountain here uh, to make sure that keeps on going. And we're gonna take these canvas covers off. I guess they're really like canvas. I don't really know what they're made of, but it's like, I don't know, it's something plasticky canvasy. And every year we gotta cover these things up so the summer heat doesn't just damage my, our wood table and you know those cheap Ikea chairs that we have out there. As you can see here, it's kind of a, not a nightmare. It gets caught under the table and I gotta come around, lift the table up, kick it out. It's just me out here. Tim's working on the front, front yard to clean up some th things there. And uh, I'm just gonna pull this out of here and shake it out. I don't know what's under there. Usually scorpions and stuff. 
Uh, and then the same thing here with our uh, sofa. That little end table there goes on the end a bit, but for storage, I just kind of stick it in the corner. I'm going to take the patio blower and blow everything out here. This plant is dead. I'm not sure what it was, but it's gone. Uh, not only did we lose that, but like this whole tree, this bottle butt tree almost died, and you can see it's now coming back to life, but there was a lot of dead stuff on it. The sun was so hot, and summer was so hot, cactus was just falling down in the desert. That's how hot it was. Uh, looks like this stuff is starting to recover. If you look at this dragon fruit tree here, it died. It was all the way up to the top of this thing, hanging off, ready to make some dragon fruit. And like, that's all dead. There's nothing left. Now, uh, you can see here the, the existing stuff all died. But uh, on the bottom there, we do have some new green coming in. So is, is the plant alive? It still is. But we lost the entire like length of our dragon fruit tree here. Now, if you look over here, we've got a fig tree on the left and a lime tree on the right. The fig tree is just killing it. Like it was half that size last year. The heat didn't seem to bother it at all. Uh, and it's doing well. And then the lime tree over there, that seems to be doing okay also. We're back in the kitchen. Uh, <laughs> we've prepped everything to make this uh, chopped salad that we're making that we really like. Um, and I, I cut everything up. It's ready to show you how to put together. And we washed the arugula. This, I can still smell it. We washed the arugula. Uh, we got it at Whole Foods today. Uh, so and I checked the date. It doesn't expire until October 4th. We're washing it, I put it on the counter, and the kitchen just smells. And it smells like the dishes have been in the sink for a week. And there was a sparkling clean sink. I mean, obviously it's loaded with dishes now. We've been cooking all day, but nothing's been in the sink long enough to smell like mold and mildew. Um, so we're like, what's that smell? So we're like trying to figure it out. And I'm like, this was a clean kitchen like this morning. There's, there is no, nothing that's been sitting here. The garbage, has the garbage been taken out? But we started with the fresh, and we don't have a lot of garbage because everything is produce. So <laughs> I smell the, I smell the, the arugula. We're like, oh, holy smoke. It's, I mean, I know it's peppery, but is it supposed to smell like that? So Tim smells and he goes, oh man, this is bad. It smells like mildew. I'm like, oh, you've got to be kidding me. Like we just bought this at Whole Foods. So Tim's headed to Fry's. We're just three blocks from the grocery store Fry's and he's getting a uh, I was just going to use spinach because we got spinach there too, but he wants to use arugula. So he went over to get some more arugula. All right, we're back and Tim got uh, some arugula. This one doesn't smell, so that's good. We're going to toss the dress, the, the arugula in a, uh, in a bowl first. Why don't you grab that and toss that in here. And we're just going to toss the salad with the dressing first. I think, are we on a cup or? It's a cup each, yeah. Okay. You can overdo it on the lettuce. That's on the lettuce. Uh, it's a cup each. Let's do one more cup. But really, you, I mean, for a lot of arugula, it's, I mean, it's, it's nothing. All right, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna use the, uh, uh, the, the maple ranch that we have, right? I love um, it, this is a staple. Yeah, it's made from the cashew powder. There'll be a link below this video to plantbasedads.net where this recipe is and you can just print it out. Uh, we're gonna use the whole thing, right? Because- It's for two. We're splitting yeah. it, so, so let's just dump the whole thing in. I usually like to put it in a little cup on the salad to show you how cool and fancy it is, but I mean, it's late. We're ready to eat, so you give me a tongs. We'll do okay, that. Yeah. okay. Uh, so I'm just gonna talk. You know, I will take that, actually. You're right. For the thank bowl? You. Yes, yes, thank you. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna get every last bit of this out. Exactly. Because, I mean, I love this dressing and there's not a lot of it. So we just made the whole recipe and halved it for the two of us. That's all we did. And I counted the calories. I just put them in half for each of us from that recipe. All right. So we're just kind of mixing this up and tossing this around here. And it's nice that it uses the cashew powder instead of the cashews. All right. So let's kind of dish half of this up into each bowl here. Again, I normally don't use mixing bowls, but to eat out of, but because you're seeing it from over there, even though I have the second camera on it. I just want you to see it all. So here's how this chopped salad works. We kind of lay this stuff in. Normally I lay it in a flat kind of bowl and I put the lettuce on one side and I start layering things in strips. Mm -hmm. This time we're just going to put the lettuce underneath. Uh, I don't know, maybe uh, you want to see some of it on... No, let's find the way it is, right? Yeah, we'll just make the lines right. of it. So the first thing we're going to put in is we want to layer the colors, right? I think we need to... We've got uh, some tomatoes and we're putting in uh, a half a cup each. So Tim's getting a half a cup of tomatoes and I'm getting half a cup of tomatoes. And we just kind of lay them in strips, right? So here I'm gonna put uh, tomatoes here for me, right here. 
And then Tim will have his tomatoes right here. Looking and good. Looking good there. Yep, let's keep this. Uh, that's looking good there. And then after that, let's get the, the beets. We're putting in about 330 uh, grams of beets. I have it all on the, the, the chronometer. I'll show you the exact numbers at the end. So we just split it about 160 each. Which was about five beets because they're pretty small, the golden beets. And if you're going to make bake them, um, that's about... I'm, a, took, but. I'm a big fan of beets, but the golden beets are pretty good. And let me just tell you, there's a lot of golden beets here, yeah. right? Like there's a lot, a lot. And because uh, golden beets are mostly water, there's so few calories in them. Uh, for this 164, the calories are, uh, where are they here? Um, it's 70 calories for 164 grams of these beets. Uh, so they're, they're very, they're very nutrition dense and calorie light. So, which is great. Yeah, but there. this flavor is so much more mild than the red um, and you're able to handle it. Yeah, I don't like these so. beets, but, but these are fine. And uh, you know, these are nice because they're filling, right? But they're non-starch, which is perfect. Yeah. Right? All right, perfect. So we got that. So I think next we're gonna put in uh, some freeze dried corn. I know this sounds weird, but uh, we buy it in a package at, in the spread. Do we have the package available somewhere? Um, I've got it tucked okay. away. We buy it in a package. It's Lake's or something, or Lakes of something. Yeah, Lake Lake Foods. Um, so we ordered this one. We rent. Used to get it at Sprouts. Couldn't find it. So I ordered a bunch on Amazon and I got like six bags. Yeah. So really, we've had this for a while, but this texture is what does it for me. Uh, this helps. It's chewy. Yeah, it's really I mean, good. It just dissipate. I'm gonna put it in uh, here. Yeah. And we're just putting in uh, an eighth of a cup each because the recipe, the whole recipe calls for a quarter of a cup. So we're putting an eighth of a cup each. Perfect. And we'll kind of push this to the side there. All right, take care of that. And then uh, we're going to put in uh, an eighth of a cup each of Dante Car of Zante Carants, uh, little Carants, uh, like little dried up raisins. So we're going to push that in the side there. And, and again, I was just talking about texture. Here's another texture we're introducing to the salad yeah. that makes it so special. All right, there we go there. Nose are looking good. Look at all those colors on there, right? And you got the better lettuce underneath. I love it. And then the last thing we're going to put in here is uh, pepitas. Again, about an eighth of a cup. I might be wrong on the measurements. I'll have the correct ones in chronometer. I'm trying to remember them. We've, we've, I know the me measurements, but I've, we've split them all in half, so uh, I, it comes out correct, right? And I think you can't read your writing. Can you? I can't when I write this stuff down, yeah. So I'm just going to kind of put these like on either end here, and let's hope for the best. Papitas are just little pumpkin season. Since it's almost October, it's kind of pumpkin season. I really don't like anything pumpkin, but I like papitas. So, but the diversity in our diet, like this is, this yeah, is nice. So. Yeah, we want uh, plant diversity. Yeah. All right, and then you know I'm just sitting here going, there's no starch in here. I forgot about the most important part. The starch in the salad is Israeli pearl couscous. Yep. Right. I love it. The size is perfect. And again, it's all about the chew on this. So here's another texture we're introducing. Okay, okay so that's kind of embarrassing. Um, this couscous is supposed to be on the salad, but I'm just gonna eat it separately. So uh, here we have it, a beautiful uh, salad. Take a look at that. I put some of the couscous on it, just so you can see what it's supposed to look like. Really, these bowls are too small. Cause I, I was like, wait a minute, this is supposed to be a lot bigger meal. Like how did this whole meal fit into these small bowls? Um, it looks fantastic. I can't wait to eat this. So let's dig in. And I think that I'm going to uh, grab me. Where's that mixing bowl that we just had that was over here? Um, just on the counter there. I'm going to just mix my whole salad in this bowl right here that we used for the dressing. How is it? Is it good? I almost feel like this little bowl makes it seem like there's not a lot of food here when <laughs> there really is. Yeah. All right, so now it makes sense. I've got literally a whole mixing bowl full of food. And that's what I should have had. I bet you this never happens to Kiki. So having been out shopping, looking at a healthy f food store and giving them a call and asking about oil free and on top of that even vegan, it's just too much. So being here, having this salad that we want with all the ingredients I love, like this just reminds me it's of much like, how special this is. Yeah. yeah. Going out to eat used to be very special. It's just not. It's, it's not. It's just, yeah. it's now inconvenient. All right. So I got a huge like plate of food here, right? Like this whole thing. Yeah. So where this are we at with calories? Like. With this. Let's go over it. All right. 
Doesn't this look amazing? Yeah, for this volume, what are we looking at? Hang on, let me taste this real quick. Oh, that dressing's amazing. I love that dressing. It is. Yeah. It is so good. All right, so we each got a one half a cup eventually of couscous, right? That was 100 calories uh, each. I'm just, I'm just doing this per one bowl, okay? So the couscous, that's 100 calories. So we each got one cup of arugula, and that was about five calories, right? Uh, we each got a half a cup of uh, tomatoes, and that was 16.2 calories. We each got an eighth of a cup of pepitas, that was uh, 84 calories. Those are uh, calorically uh, high. We each got an eighth of a cup of Zante uh, Carants, and that was 50 calories, 52. Uh, the beet, 164 grams each, right, which was a lot of beet for 70 calories. Then the, the freeze-dried corn, we got a quarter of a cup each, and that was 33.33 calories. And for the maple dressing, we did half a recipe, uh, which came out to about 83 uh, calories because it makes, it, I guess it makes uh, 8 and 860, 166, 167 calories for the whole thing. For a grand total of 448 calories each. So did we go over 400 calories? We did, uh, but let me just tell you, it was worth it. This is a big bowl. Yeah, uh, you could save some calories by do, by skipping the pepitas. But I mean, this this salad is about the texture, and even though I'm trying to do 400 calories a day, I'm not giving anything up. Like I want it all. Don't right, you think? Mm -hmm. Tim dumps his salad into the the bowl we used to spin the dress the, the arugula. I mean, it's already like got to be washed. So, wow, this is so good. Wow. All right. So a full day of food, right? Uh, a full day of vlogging. We took you along with us. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm gonna finish this up. This is so delicious. I probably won't eat this whole thing in one shot, but I mean, just another example of how much food, right? I mean, look at all that food. How much food you can get for 400 calorie meals. People are like, you'll never be able to survive on 400 calories. You're gonna be starving. I assure you, I'm not starving. Even with that protein shake, right? With the smoothie. Uh, which we don't do that often, but occasionally we have to. I mean, I just watched Hannah this week. She did a smoothie, right? I watched Kiki recently. She did a smoothie. There is a time and a place for smoothies, right? And when you don't have time to do something else, I think it's a satisfying, safe way to get a meal in. Yeah. Right? All right, you guys. Thanks for joining Fly Base Dads again this week. That's our video, right? Uh, hit that like button, show us some love. Hit that subscribe button, become part of the Plant Based Dads family. Click that bell, you get notified every time we have a new video. Usually every Tuesday. Every Tuesday. Yep. Remember the Mary's Minis going on this week until uh, next Monday. And uh, then the new challenge will start for October. Uh, and leave a comment below. Let us know what your thoughts are. I mean, I don't make couscous that often. But then every time I make it, I'm like, wow, I really like couscous. I don't know why I don't eat it more often, right? All right. We'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.